everybody so welcome back it is wednesday january <laughs> january <laughs> i always do that um it's wednesday june 29th and uh you know what sun setting i'm in monday park it's for the second time for the second time today um and the reason that i'm getting a lot of monday in is because marathon training like the diligent shit is about to start again. Like I ran the marathon on Sunday with like no running training, like maybe a couple 5Ks here and there. And like, let me tell you, it's Wednesday and my body's just starting to be like, mm, okay. <laughs> anyway, and, uh, but okay. So it's beautiful here. Like you guys know, I love this place. And uh, so I'm getting as, as much Monday in as I can. And like, it's funny because like I just started to notice that like my life is changing whether I want it to or not. And uh, for better things, for good things. You know, before I'd always be like, oh my God, but like, what if I lose it? And what if this and what if that? And it's like, but if you like think and focus on worry, then you're just going to attract all that stuff into your life. And so I was like... So why don't I just have faith and focus on like the good stuff, like crossing the finish line in Toronto in October, you know, and work towards that, you know, like I'm loving working out every day. I'm loving all the other stuff. So like, why don't I focus on how good that feels instead of like going with my head and like, oh, what if this happens? What if this happens? Because you know what? Life is inevitably going to happen anyways. People are going to pass away. Like when my godfather died, that took the fucking rug right under me you know like nobody expected the pandemic but like that happened and you know because like my last organized race my last organized race was in 2020 right like I mean I did the sun run like just recently but before all that I didn't run for two years so my body's like new again towards this anyway and so like it just like like the reason I love coming here is because I love being with nature and I didn't realize it until today like I had my road test today and so like I was really nervous beforehand so I do things like to calm my nerves I obviously don't involve drinking anymore but like <laughs> like I think that would have been funny to show up to a road test like the way I used to be oh my god anyway life has changed a lot right anyway but like I went and saw my biological dad like I went to his grave and I was talking to him and I was like, you know, I'm like, if you could just be with me for the next like hour and a half and like keep my nerves and, you know, like I was really fucking nervous. Like I felt like I was going to puke. And, uh, <laughs> and I was like, by the way, thanks for always being here because <laughs> he's been in the same spot since 1992. And, uh, <laughs> and I started laughing and I was like, it's that attitude and sense of humor that I've had my whole life, really. That's like kind of kept me going. Right. Oh, sorry. Hold on. <laughs> I don't like making videos when people are around. <laughs> um, anyway, and it has. And like, I've had a very good attitude considering all the stuff that I've been through, right? And uh, like I said, you know, I was telling my friend, my new friend, I've been telling, I was telling him today, I was saying how, you know, if I'm meant to get my driver's, my full driver's license today on June 29th, I'll pass. And if I'm not and I'm meant to learn more, then I won't pass. It was an amazing test, okay? And it was funny because I was like, oh, is that the fucking heron? It is too. Yes. Anyway, sorry. And uh, there's Hero the heron. And, uh, you know, and I, um, I missed this guy this morning. Like, really, I came here looking for him. It. It. <laughs> He's right over there. Anyway, and I... Anything that could go on my drive... There he is. <laughs> should have really named him Harold to the point that I keep calling it a him but uh I am uh, <laughs> see to last video I uh had said I was like it was, okay so what I was talking about before I got really excited there um I was talking about how like on my road test anything that could happen like pretty much almost anything that could come in the way of my like unexpected things that weren't planned like this hidden sign or this thing or this or that like <laughs> kind of happened like a squirrel ran in the middle of the road a dump truck was there a fucking pedestrian ran in the middle of the road I was like she's like but you were like on it I was like that's so cool you know I was so nervous I was like I picked up so many bad fucking habits being a driver you know and she's like that's kind of what we want to eliminate Anyway, having a good moment with a fucking heron. I'm so glad he's here. And um, 
anyway, but it got me to see, like, I was so doubtful, right? I was doubtful I was going to finish the marathon on Sunday. I was doubtful I was going to pass this, like, and then I realized, like, I think that's my humility. Like, I think that's what it is. I think that's like, because I used to be so sure of everything. For sure I was going to do this. For sure I was going to do this. And then, like, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't even try. You know, when I was in my alcoholism and my addiction, right? And now it's like, you know, I don't know until I do it. And then I do it. And like I was saying, I'm like, all I can do is my best. I can't, you know, I can prepare. I can do whatever. But all I can do is my best. That's it. And then I go and I do my best. Right? Our best varies from moment to moment. And your best is going to be different than mine. And, you know, like it just like some days my best is literally just getting out of bed, making it to work and coming home. Right. And like, do, I mean, like maybe not attacking a customer. Like if, if you guys met some people in towing, you would understand, you know, <laughs> but like, let's go see if we can see the hair and better. And, uh, but that's the thing, right? Like our best varies and you know, like suit up, show up and do your best. Right. That's kind of what I do with marathon training and everything. Like I'm never going for first place. I'm always going just to remember that like at one point, none of this was possible for me. So it's like, you know, what goals do you want to accomplish? Like, what do you want to do? And, and I started doing them and I started feeling amazing. Like, I didn't think I was going to fucking get my driver's. So like, there were so many good things in this week that I was like, yeah, fucking right. Okay. Now, now if I go, like I was, I said, if I pass my road test, I was going to go buy myself a new car. I was like, okay, I need to chill out on that. Cause like if I, all this good stuff starts happening, like I find my perfect car now, a meteor is probably going to fall from the fucking sky and hit me. Like <laughs> things are just going too well. And I'm not used to that. Right. Like I'm used to, okay. But this is the thing, life changes as we do, right? Like you have to get rid of a lot of the old familiar things. Like before, before abuse was familiar to me, right? So for me, that used to feel like love. Like, don't forget, love for me was transactional and by the hour, right? Or whatever, or like, you know, you're not giving me this, so I'm going to withhold this. Like that wasn't normal anyway. And so, fuck. I just love it. Like, it's like me and this bird have a fucking thing. <laughs> but, uh, you know, and so it's like we have to change, right? And change doesn't happen just because we want it to. Like, there's a process, right? And it's funny, like, coming here and, like, sewing up for myself and things like that. Like, that's my process. And people get pissed off at me in recovery and stuff like that. It's so funny. Because it's like, I don't have to go through half the stuff that they do. But the reason is, is because my stuff isn't just like, oh, I'm an alcoholic and I'm an addict. It's like, because I'm, se I have severe trauma. Like I, I didn't, I didn't make a video about this. That's right. I got misdiagnosed for the last 17 years. Here I was thinking I was bipolar. They're like, actually, you're not. I went to a psychologist and they're like, actually, you have complex post-traumatic stress disorder with, oh, I'm just mis interrupting these people's moment. They're like, you have, um with a borderlineistic personality traits. You're not borderline personality disorder. You have traits of it. And that's why this happens. And I was like, are you fucking, I was so mad at my doctor. <laughs> Cause it's like, you didn't even take the time to listen. You know, when people come to you and trust you with stuff and all you want to do is shove pills down that person's throat. Like that's pretty horrible. Anyway, guys, I'm going to enjoy this moment, but I'll uh, just, I'll be back in a minute. Oh my God. Okay. So like, Nice tree. Um, well, you two guys do. Same, same 